The scratch technique in surgical management of Peyronie's disease. Presented by The scratch procedure for internal disruption of the Peyronie's plaque is used as an adjunct to modeling. The procedure can also be used to rid the implanted penis of an hourglass defect commonly found prior to implantation in the Peyronie's patient. An artificial erection is utilized to identify the zone of pathology and mark it externally. An 80 mm nasal speculum is then passed across the plaque and opened traversally to fracture the plaque along the x-axis. A 12 blade scalpel is used to scratch the plaque internally across the z-axis. The depth of the scratch further disrupts the plaque along the y-axis. An alternative approach is to use a scalpel to create linear incisions, then using a pair of sharp Metzenbaum scissors one can fracture the plaque. In this case, the patient had a large calcified peronage plaque of the distal shaft of the penis seen here. An artificial erection is used to identify the plaque. Our fluid during artificial erection is anesthetic to also hydrodissect the planes as well as demarcate the plaque. A standard infrapubic approach is utilized and incisions are made into the corpora that are tagged. Once the corporotomies are made, the furlough is used to measure the corpora proximally and distally on the unaffected side. An 80 mm long nasal speculum is then passed down the corpora in order to dilate it. Note that once the speculum is open, the plaque is fractured along the x-axis. Next, a lever pulling clockwise rotation is used with the nasal speculum, and the hook blade is used to fracture the plaque. Metzenbaum scissors is then used to further fracture the plaque. Here we can see an extracorporeal view of what the authors are performing intracorporeally. One can also appreciate the sound of the crack. Now we're ready. On the right, one can see an intracorporeal view of the hook blade incising the white fibrous plaque, while on the outside we have an extracorporeal view of the author's motions. Here we see a post-operative side view and front view after the scratch technique with penile implant in place. Following completion of the scratch technique and placement of the penile implant, one must evaluate the residual penile curve and perform modeling if the curve is greater than 30 degrees. Incising the plaque using the scratch technique reduces the curve to less than 30 degrees and is a useful tool for the surgeon during penile implant surgery in patients with severe Peyronie's disease.